people have a lot of reasons not to be a vegan. One of the most common reasons is if I become a vegan, I won't get enough protein. So in this video, I'm going to debunk and show to you just how easy it is to get protein on a vegan diet. Protein requirements change with one's body weight. For every kilogram of lean body mass, 0.8 grams of protein is more than enough. That means a woman with a lean body mass of 50 kilograms would need 40 grams of protein per day. And a man with a lean body mass of 60 kilograms would need 48 grams of protein per day. Now people have a notion that if they don't consume animal products that is meat, milk and eggs, that they will become protein deficient. But how true is that really? Protein is a compound made up of amino acids. Essential amino acids are those which the body cannot synthesize by itself and therefore we need to obtain them from an external source, that is food. For humans, the 11 essential amino acids are cysteine, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, tryptophan, threonine, tyrosine and valine. And all of these essential amino acids can be obtained from a whole food plant-based diet. Did you know that the amino acid profile for each plant food varies? That is, some plants have some amino acids more than the other. Now, for example, if you were to eat only rice, you probably would not be getting enough lysine. But we don't eat only rice. We eat rice, dal and vegetables. And therefore, make up for the lack of an amino acid in one particular plant group by eating a whole variety of plant foods. Now, let's take a food such as Rajma Chawal, which is basically nothing but rice and kidney beans. Say you're eating a plate of Rajma Chawal and it has 250 grams of rice and 100 grams of kidney beans. From that one plate alone, you would be getting around 15 grams of protein and that is nearly one by third of your daily requirement. We eat chapati and channa. Poha is flattened rice and peanuts. We eat sambar rice, which is nothing but rice and lentils. If you look at all of our traditional Indian vegan cuisines, it is always a combination of a grain and a legume. So these two plant sources provide you all the protein your body needs and also complement each other. So if you include them in your diet, you needn't worry about protein. Let's keep it simple, shall we? Every whole plant food occurring in nature contains protein. If you are eating all of your calories from whole plant foods, then it is impossible for your body to not get enough protein. When we consume a variety of whole plant foods, that is grains, legumes, vegetables, fruits, nuts and seeds, we get all the protein our body needs. Well, there are plenty of vegan bodybuilders and athletes and they all do just fine on a plant-based diet. But some athletes do like to consume protein shakes. The good news is we have plenty of plant proteins on the market such as Olena and Univen. More protein does not equal to better health. There is an unhealthy obsession with protein these days and people believe that protein is the most important nutrient that the human body needs. Firstly, ask yourself, how many protein deficient people have you ever met in your life? Nobody? Now ask yourself, how many people suffer from heart disease, diabetes, stroke, osteoporosis, obesity, cancer and kidney problems? How do they get these diseases? Number one, the protein known as casein found in dairy products is a catalyst for the growth of various types of cancer cells. Number two, the nutrient known as choline that is found in eggs has been linked to the growth of prostate cancer. Number three, Heme iron, which is the iron one gets from eating meat, has been linked to the growth of esophageal and stomach cancer. Number four, the saturated fat found in animal products leads to the accumulation of fat in our body, which therefore leads to insulin resistance and therefore causes type 2 diabetes. And lastly, the cholesterol found in animal products leads to the increase of LDL particles in the body, which in turn lead to the formation of plaque in the arterial walls and therefore leads to heart attacks. By being vegan, I save money. For just a fraction of the price of meat, milk and eggs, I procure grains, legumes and beans. By being vegan, I am healthier because my food items are not laden with cholesterol, saturated fat and various harmful hormones. By being vegan, I save so much water because producing animal products is so water intensive. By being vegan, I am no longer responsible for exploiting innocent living beings who have just as much right to live on this earth as I do. And therefore, every night when I go to sleep, I sleep with a clear conscience. Do the right thing today. 
and go vegan. Thanks for watching. This is Arun Ramalakvist, signing off.